UAV. Oh my god, that's it right there. Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, we're going to be checking out my best SPX AD class setup in Modern Warfare 2. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like the video. Today's like goal is going to be 35 likes. So if you guys could do that for me, I'd really appreciate it. It helps out this video a lot. Jumping straight into the attachments over on the stock, I'm using the PVZ 890 tack stock. It adds crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. The cons are recoil control, which doesn't matter too much because it is a sniper. Um, over on the stock tuning, I'm going with negative 2.06 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed. And 1.47 inches to the length to add aiming auto stability. Over on the rear grip, I'm using the Schlager match grip. Add sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. The cons are recoil control. Again, that does not matter. Over on the width, I'm going with negative 0.30 inches to the width to add sprint to fire speed. And negative 0.55 ounces to the weight to add aim down sight speed. Over on the ammo or ammunition, I'm using a 0.300 high velocity for bullet velocity. And like I go over in probably every video that I use ammunition tuning or I use ammunition, I am going with damage range and bullet velocity. Over on the barrel, I'm using a 22.5 inch elevate 11 barrel adds aim down sight speed, hip recoil control and movement speed. The cons are damage range, hip fire accuracy, bullet velocity and recoil control. And with the barrel tuning, I didn't really care too much for aim walking speed. So I went with 0.31 pounds to the weight to add recoil steadiness and 0.25 inches to the length to add damage range. Over on the laser, I'm using the Schlager PEQ box. I mainly use this one because I don't want people to see the laser. And this one doesn't really matter too much because it's for aiming stability. But I went ahead and put it all the way down for spin to fire speed and all the way over for aim down sight speed. This is probably the craziest gameplay. I ended up choking the nuke the first time. And then I think my second life, I ended up getting the nuke. I'm not too sure about that, but I hope you guys enjoy that. If you guys try this class setup out and you like it, please let me know down in the comments. Or if you have a better class setup for me to use, please let me know what that is down in the comments. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. All right, I am probably going to regret this, but I am using the SPX and I really want to try to get a nuke with this gun. I think I'm going to play a little bit slower. Are they going to spawn right here? No, there's a guy up there. So are these guys gonna... That guy got it done to him. My God. I'm already starting off really good. I think the only problem I'm going to have is I need another gun and I have a knife. And I 
definitely don't need to be up here. And I don't need to be where the hard point is. I need to cut people off before they get to the hard point. I don't know what I'm on, but I'm closer to advance, so that's like a 12. Gotta be really careful. Oh my god, bro, that guy's being sus. Why are you? scared right now I gotta move because I'm pretty sure my teammates are staying on the hard point I don't know. I gotta go UAV. Oh my god, that's it right there. Let's go. Where'd this guy go? Okay, I don't even care that that right there. 39 kills with and a new. I'm pretty sure like I had like three or four kills with the secondary that I was using. Maybe a little more. I will go back and look. I had a lot of kills with the sniper, so.
Approaching your six. I don't even know how I was hitting those. Pretty sure I didn't miss a bullet after I killed the guy on that fence right here. Fifty kills with the.